Welcome to New Phys Dialer. Today we're going to explain in depth how to configure a campaign. Once the survey is being configured, DNC list added and contacts uploaded, we can move on to creating the campaign. The campaign ties together the survey, contacts and DNC list and is where you set the parameters which include the caller ID, speed of the campaign, action on voicemail, the schedule and other miscellaneous settings. Start by adding a new campaign. The campaign will be created with a default name based on the date. In the general section, select the survey or voice campaign that you want to use. Set the caller ID that you want to deliver to your contacts. This is the number they will see and ideally needs to be a number they can call you back on if they want to call you back. The caller ID name is not generally supported by your carrier. The caller ID group allows you to set the caller ID depending on the destination being called so you can deliver a caller ID local to the contact. You either enter a caller ID or you select a caller ID group. Select the DNC list. Anyone who is already on the DNC list will not be called and you may have configured your survey to allow contacts to add themselves to the DNC group. Finally, select one or more phone books to use. Now go to the Dialer Settings tab. Here we set the gateway for use for outbound calls. Set the frequency in terms of calls per minute to make. Set the maximum number of concurrent calls. Make sure the frequency is not set so high that the max concurrent calls is constantly exceeded. Set the maximum concurrent transfer. This only applies where you have a press one survey and you want your contacts to speak to agents. Set it to the same number as agents that you have available. With simple dialing, the system will dial at the same frequency irrespective of the number of agents available until they're all occupied. Then calling will stop. Note there still may be transfers from calls in progress, for instance calls ringing or answered and the contact is listening to your message. There is an alternative dialing method called Power Dialer. This will keep a set number of concurrent calls going at all times determined by the dial rate multiplied by the max concurrent transfer. When an agent is busy then the number of concurrent calls will reduce by the dial rate and then stop when all agents are occupied. This method is used for direct transfers where you ring a contact and if a real person answers immediately bridge the call to a waiting agent. Now click on the retry tab. The retry settings determine how many times to call the contact if the call fails first time. By fail it could be that the contact is engaged, unobtainable or simply doesn't answer. The call completion switch will also call again if the contact answers but does not complete the survey, e.g. hangs up straight away or does not press any buttons. Setting retries to 1 will mean that the contact will be called once and then retried once more. Set the time between retries in seconds. The voicemail tab is to set voicemail detection behaviour. Simplistically, when the phone is answered, the system listens to what is said, and generally speaking, one to three words is a person, and more than three words is an answering machine. Set the detection to on, then select the behaviour. Always play message will present your survey to a person, and play the voicemail audio file followed by any text-to-speech entered in the text-to-speech field. The system will listen for the beep and restart the message as soon as the beep is heard. It is important that the message is longer than the likely length of the greeting message. We recommend 20 seconds. Play message to human only means that the system will hang up when a machine is detected. Leave message to voicemail only will mean that the system will hang up if a person is detected and drop the voicemail audio file and text-to-speech after the beep on the contact's voicemail system. Now click on Schedule. Select which days of the week to run your campaign. The start time defaults to the time now and the finish time defaults to 24 hours from now. Change this if your campaign is likely to run over a few days. The daily start time is the time of day to start, and the daily finish time is when the last call is made. 
For North America, you also have time zone dialing to ensure that the contact is only called between the daily start and stop times according to the contact's local time zone. Generally, extra settings do not need to be changed. Set the call maximum call duration. It defaults to 1800 seconds, which is 30 minutes. It has to be long enough to include time on the phone with the agent. Time out on dialing is how long to ring the phone for. There is a minimum of 15 seconds. The SMS gateway to use if you've included an SMS section in your survey. The language to use with text-to-speech. And finally, the record B-leg switch to record the conversation with the agent. Finally, save. The green tick shows that the campaign is within the schedule you set and is ready to start. If you see an orange triangle with an exclamation mark, the campaign cannot run right now due to your schedule. Press start to begin calling. Thank you for watching and please contact us if you have any questions or need support on Newfis Dialer.